Behold, this shall be his dinner later. Like I said, Huli and I have lived together for more than 15 years. Um, together for, oh, I can show you now. True love forever. The I is dotted with a heart and the O has a little, the O has a little snake tongue on it. I don't think you can see. I have this relationship with snakes where I, I'm, I love snakes. I've always loved snakes. I like snakes. I love them <laughs> so much. They're 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 my favorite. It's like uh, snakes and then toads and then rabbits are my favorite animals. In a relationship with snakes is a good one. Um, but when I lived out west. Um, people who realized I had a snake and I really liked snakes just sort of started um, thrusting them upon me because they didn't want or couldn't have or their significant other didn't want or didn't know how to take care of or got for their kid but their kid wasn't taking care of it. Um, so I just kind of ended up being this, I would call it, um, an involuntary rescue operation. So for a while, I was just kind of keeping them and taking care of them. And I had a room where I had a bunch of them in it. Um, it, it wasn't like the drawer set up like, like breeders do. They all had their own little enclosure. Um, so over the years I lived out there, I had a lot of snakes that I wasn't I didn't really particularly like have feelings for them other than, oh, they deserve better than they had, and now I have them, and I'm going to try and do my best for them, and, and I was with this guy, and uh, it turned out he was kind of, he had hoarding tendencies, so he ended up just sort of getting me a couple of snakes off, and always off Craigslist. And I would just come home and there would be snakes. Same thing with dogs. We went, we picked out a dog. We got a puppy. And then the next day, he showed up at my work with another dog. And uh, he was that way with cars. And so he just sort of did it to me with snakes. And, and like his heart was in the right place, but he, he didn't really have a healthy way to deal with his, his stuff, so he just kind of hoarded things. So I got several of the snakes from him. One day he put two of our corn snakes together, and then, you know, it, it, the music was right, and the lighting was right, and the time of the year was right, and uh, boom, it had to deal with babies. <laughs> and unfortunately, most of the babies didn't make it because the house we lived in was awful. And I don't remember exactly if it was overnight or over the time I was at work, but over about an eight hour span, uh, suddenly the heater kicked on in our house and it desiccated all of these little baby snakes because it cranked on to like 110 degrees and and it just was too much for this, this fish tank with these little baby snakes in it. Um, and, and they all just kind of and it cooked and I was very sad because they were my babies. <laughs> I ended up finally rehoming all of the snakes except for Julio because and so now that I'm at a stable place in my life and it doesn't look like it because this room is a disaster I want more snakes now. Uh, here I am, finally, in my life in a place where I can choose my snakes instead of just being bestowed snakes of gifts. <laughs> Specifically a female Darwin carpet python. Now, I don't want to um, breed. I just kind of want, like, like... Like, collection is kind of a weird word because you collect objects, and obviously these are creatures with, you know, lives and personalities. But, yeah, I want a modest snake collection eventually, um, which was always kind of my goal. 
now I'm in a place where I can I can do that. So I settled on a carpet python, specifically the Darwin, because they're a little bit smaller and their um, coloring is is a little more on the red side as opposed to kind of on the green yellow side. And and I think that just looks nice. Um, I'm not big into morphs. Several of the snakes I had um, bestowed upon me were um, morphs, and a lot of them were. I had some kind of, kind of goofy ones, and I don't know if it had something to do with uh, their, their previous husbandry or the fact that they were inbred or whatever, but I had a couple of neurotic snakes, and uh, they were, coincidentally or not, uh, all all inbred morphs, and I, I would just really kind of rather avoid the morph kind of thing if I can. I started emailing this retail establishment. They're just kind of jerking me around. It doesn't really seem like they're... It, not that they're not a serious establishment, because I'm, I'm sure they are. Um, they appear to be on their online presence, but I, I don't really think shipping a one single 200 and some dollar snake to BFE Wisconsin is really high on their priority list. But I did find the guy who wrote the book on carpet pythons um, and, and he has some for sale, uh, and I'm emailing him, and after I'm done recording this, and probably before I post it, I'm going to email him back and see what's up with that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I will be getting one from, um, Portland, Oregon, <laughs> um, which would be nice. Uh, it, it'll be cool to have another snake, and then um, that'll probably be my last snake for the next couple of years until I build my house. And so eventually, um, after the house is built, I would like to build um, a new, like a double-decker or even a triple-decker snake enclosure and... Um, you know, I have Julio and then the carpet python, and if I decide to get another one, which I probably will, let's be honest, snake people, you know how it is. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go uh, check on my dinner and make sure it's not burning in the crock pot, and I'm going to email a guy about a snake and I'm going to sort of edit this video because it's 25 minutes long now and I'm going to have to cut it down because I'm not a fancy pants YouTube channel. I'm me vlogging so I can share it to my friends and my mom and stuff. So anyway, um, Next time you see my face, I'll have a different snake around my neck or on my body or in my hands. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, bye.